Guys, welcome back. We are back in the Sharper Golf, Golf Lab, right? That's what I always like to call this place. So today, I can't get out to the course. I can't really play, but that doesn't mean I want, don't want to hit some balls. Doesn't mean I, I don't want to get things done. So what do you say? We go grab a launch monitor. So in my case, it's going to be the Swing Caddy SC200. Let's turn it on. Let's play an imaginary hole, okay? Let's play a par four, 400 yards. So let's see, if we're doing a 400 yard par four, minus 250 yards, so 400 minus 200, that's 200, 200 yards, minus another 50. So we are at 150 yards. That's a seven iron or an eight iron into the green. That's a lot better control. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna play a virtual hole right now. We're gonna do three wood. So let's start off by changing our swing caddy right here to the wood, to the three wood. And let's play a virtual hole. I just got a wedge here. Just gonna do a couple of swings and get the shoulders going. I don't wanna hurt myself. All right, so what I did here is I grabbed one of my old balls that I've been putting in play. This is uh, the TaylorMade TP5. That's the ball that I play. I've been fit to it, actually been fit to this through, through a fitting program at the PGA Tour Superstore. And we are going to take our three wood. For me, it's the sub 7939X, right? Yeah, that's the number, sub 70. 939X. I'm OG, guys. I've been playing this from day one. So, did a couple warm up swings, a couple loose ones. We're going to play our virtual hole. All right. Feeling it. Let's open the uh, launch monitor set up. Two twenty-five on the swing caddy. Now I felt like I hit that a little bit low. It came off fast, but we're gonna assume it went straight. Just for for funsies, we're gonna pretend that this went straight down. So two twenty-five. We're playing four hundred yards, right there. So four hundred minus two hundred. That's two hundred minus another twenty-five. So we've got ourselves a hundred and seventy-five yards into the green. Right. I'm gonna grab my six iron. We're gonna take our virtual golf right here and we're gonna change our club to a six iron. So I'm changing that. There we go. Not lying to you, so I got my six iron in place here. We're gonna fire at that pin. Ooh, so that was 180 yard six iron. We were 175, right? We're off the back side of the green. We, we hit it, we bounced off. Maybe we should have played it a lot shorter, right? We should have taken the smart approach, played to the front of the green and bounced it up. So we got every bit of it. So we're gonna chip ourselves back onto the green. So I'm gonna pick my little target area right here. We're gonna pop it on, we're gonna chip. We're gonna say we're 20 yards away. So let's kind of do a nice little, little pop and stop. A little Say we popped it on there, it's on the green for sake of conversations. Let's say we are, let's give ourselves eight foot putt. We got a, we got a decent chip on there, we have an eight foot putt. We got a little bit of a bender, little left to right putt here. Let's take it over to the virtual putting green. Let's see where we go from there. The great thing about when you're practicing in the garage with the Sharper Golf putting mat is that in your garage, if it's like mine, it's slightly pitched downhill, right? Slightly pitched so that way it, the water runs out of the garage. But the cool thing about that, if you use it to your advantage, is that the putting mat will actually give you practice on your left to right putt. So if you wanna work on those, Sharper Golf putting mat is universal. You can use you know both sides no matter what you want. So take my little putting cup here. I'm gonna put it on the far right dash on here. So let's try to make that putt to the corner and save par. So I'm gonna start right here in the middle. Knowing, you know, I've got left to right to work with, I can see that it's gonna slope left to right. So I'm gonna turn my aim here a little bit over. I'm gonna pick my aim mark so that way what I'm planning on doing here is I'm looking to see where do I think the ball is gonna start breaking to the right. I know it's going to, but what at what point? 
So looking, using my Sharper Golf putting mat, I've got all these different aiming areas I can use, you know, all the different little aim spots. Depending on how fast I hit it, I think it's gonna start to break about here, at this, this circle right here. So I'm gonna aim to this dot right here, try to feed it up there so that way when I hit this circle right here, as it starts to slow down speed, it'll carry me in there and I can save my virtual par. That's the plan. Not bad, not bad. Little tapping. All right, there, there you have it. There is our virtual uh, first par four. We got ourselves a bogey on that one, and that's okay. So that's it for the virtual first hole of golf. That's a virtual par four. If you guys want to practice game scenarios, you want to practice actual playing golf, you know, in your sharper golf practice facility, well, you know that's like I do, then do that. So as you guys know, I'm not a professional player. I am a mid-range handicap trying to get better. Sharper Golf, they're giving me all the tools that I need to improve my game. They give you all the tools that you need to improve your game. Check out sharpergolf.com. Or better yet, you got Amazon, and we all do. This is an Amazon world. Go to Amazon, type in Sharper Golf, and there is a ton of different products on there, from the driving range in a box, to a putting mirror, to the putting mat. Tons of stuff. You can improve your game as I improve my game. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, keep grinding.